Yo, it is fab day and I am hyped. Today we have one environment and two game assets with one of them being a like game template and the other one being more of a mechanic. So we've got the abandoned cathedral. This is quite a large asset. It's about seven gigabytes and it looks like a photo realistic type asset, just an environment. I've had lots of environments before, but this one's kind of on theme. So we'll be happy with that. We'll take a look at this one. It's available from 5.3 to 5.6. It's Nanite enabled as well. Then we've got the advanced asymmetrical multiplayer template. This looks like a very dead by daylight type template. There's a killer, you gotta avoid it. But this is sort of more of a full game template. I can't wait to combine the abandoned cathedral and this into one project. You'll see that coming up, but all sorts of things going on in this very much a multiplayer uh, template it looks really cool we'll check this one out as well and then finally we have the pawn shop system this is a sales template of well a system it has cash for atms deposits withdrawals and has a purchase and sell system with a very basic inventory the cool thing about this though is that it is gamepad compatible so if you're looking to make something for menus that is gamepad compatible, this will help you out no end. So we'll get those downloaded and we'll take a look at them. Very excited for this one. We haven't had a like a couple of systems for a long time, which just been characters and environments. So let's dive in. Right, let's start with the pawn shop. Uh, backspace to return from menus, enter to accept, left mouse button to activate ATM and browser, and arrow to navigate between menus. Cool, that's simple enough. Pick up this item, and we can deposit 150 tunes, dollars, pounds. Bit sluggish on the menu, but other than that, it's fine. We've got a transaction list, that's quite nice and these icons change depending on what input you're using we'll take a look at the blueprints in a minute visit space door here really simple and then i feel like a shader is being used in the camera because it looks really crisp right we'll interact with this guy and we shall sell our smartphone so now i've got a hundred dollar bucks and then let's purchase a stone from the backyard because that's what we have we like that items how easy are items to sort out that is super important for just being able to pick up a project and put it in somewhere else so actors we've got an item pick up the item pick up is dictated by nothing so this is just a bunch of actor blueprints. So this here, we say that it's a smartphone. We say that there's one of them. And it's got a retail price and a minimal offer. There was no barter system. It looks like there was going to be a barter system. Okay, so there's a subtitle system that we wanted. And yeah, there's no barter system, it would seem. So mineral price makes no sense here. But if you wanted to create a barter system, at least it was already there, I suppose. Look, negotiable price. It looks like this was being added to, but might still be added to. So there's potential there that it's more. That's an interesting way of seeing the swap is when you use any key on the uh, keyboard or mouse, it checks if it's a gamepad and then changes it from there. That's a really interesting way of doing stuff. Function libraries are in use. Cool classes. There's a game instance. There's also a safe system in, in here as well. So that is quite nice. And that has S inventory in there as well. So what can we add to this? This just takes the item name and everything. Inventory wise, it depends what you want to do, whether you prefer data assets, whether you prefer data tables, whether you prefer the act method. There's no 
right or wrong way about it. This is you'd have to have an item, an actor for each item, so that becomes quite large. But if you prefer it that way, there's nothing wrong with it at all. If you shopkeeper documentation is uh, fairly simple. On here, let's look at the actual full documentation. There's a migration tutorial and there's a Patreon, but there's no proper, proper docs, which is a little bit frustrating, but this is quite a basic setup and toolkit. And this, this is aimed at uh, beginners and is ready to use more or less out of the box. Let's take a look at the advanced asymmetric multiplayer, uh, Project template. It's spooky. We'll press play. Here we've got the nice little menu set up. Nice rain. It's like it's good looking. Got an options menu. See if it actually applies. What about the music? Okay, so the music and effects. Don't really do anything. That's cool. Uh, credits. That's nice. Like this menu is really good. Let's play a quick play. Five players. Join game. So we're going to join a game on each of these. So join server. And join the server on that one. And then join the server on this one. And then we've got seconds left to start the game. So this is this is cool. This seems nicely done. There's a few errors when I close down this game, likely to do with the settings. And hopefully we load into a game. No. I mean, it's a bit poor if I can't load into one. How frustrating the annoying. Do quick play two players. And okay, so that's even as the listen server. So then we'll do a quick play. And use LAN as two players. So never even get past the loading screen on this one. Can't tell you what happens because nothing happens. In theory, it should load the example map and we should be able to run around and have a play. But can't show you that because it don't work. So we're going to play the demo to see what this is about. Just going to turn down the music. And we know the effects don't work. So we're player A. We're going to quick play. Use LAN. Players 2. And play. Get this cool little map. I don't know how I'd get two players to join this. Maybe open a separate window. So even the demo itself doesn't show me anything. Unless I'm missing something. Like, if I'm missing something, someone tell me what I'm missing, because I'd love not to be an idiot. Let's take a look at the actual blueprints, though, so we can like, see how well documented and stuff they are. Like, there's decent documentation enough, except not here. I think you have to have a good comprehension of the... There's just an ability here that does nothing of what of blueprints and understanding to uh understand this one i don't think this is a beginner tutorial or for beginners at all i think if you you can probably use it to learn a bit but without documentation i think you're going to struggle and interestingly this was last updated 
in months that don't exist. So I can't tell you when it was last updated. I can't tell you who it was last updated by. I can tell you it was probably last updated sometime this year. But I can't see how it works. Like, there's nothing here that tells me how to make it work. It was made in Unreal Engine 4. It seems to work there. So maybe it's an Unreal 5 problem, but I couldn't do it. I don't, I don't know. Um, let me know if you managed to get this working. Tell me what you did. I'd be super interested in understanding what you did. Well, I guess that ends that. This is in 5.6.1, so the latest version. I would expect it to be doing something. Let's have a look at the cathedral then. Here we are in the cathedral. Let's take a look at that. So this is quite a detailed level asset. I would have loved to have got this working with the sort of horror template on here. I'd, this has a hole inside. It's just nicely laid out to look at. So it's not a big asset. I don't know. Uh, it must be highly detailed. I say it's not a big asset. That's pretty big, actually. The world around it is pretty big, but the actual cathedral itself, pretty small. So that's quite a nice one. We'll look at the overview. See what has been provided to us for this one. So like I say, not many assets, but all sort of modular pieces that you can use. Nothing that jumps out as being super, like super duper unique. We've never had this before. It's amazing. But these are good, solid assets. The fact that they're nanite enabled as well is useful, but it is a large, large pack, like seven gigabytes is quite large. So yeah. So I was excited and then I was less excited. The one that I was most excited about is this advanced multiplayer asymmetrical like doodad, whatever. But okay, if you if I can't demo it, I can't then know if I like it or I can't test it. So I can't, I can't really tell you if it's good. This pawn shop thing's great. I've, uh, abandoned cathedral looks good. Not happy the size of seven gigabytes for what look like 10 or 12 assets, but that's not out for you. The expensive assets that look really good. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And thank you very much if you are a member and don't forget videos every single time we get free assets and times in between as well. If you like these kind of videos, then drop a like comment and subscription and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a lovely day.